Hey everyone, Laura Serrano here from Feng Shui Manhattan. Welcome to day eight of the 27 day Feng Shui Manhattan Transformational Challenge. For today's recommendation, we wanna look at the Bagua map that you've drawn out. Look at the back far right hand corner. And in that area, you're going to have what's called the partnership zone. There are a few things you can begin to look out for. The first is begin to observe the function of the space and how it's being kept in its current moment. And partnership in its own respect relates to the concepts of unity, working together. Yes, it can be love and romance, and really overall the idea of collaboration. So looking at the state of that room and its current representation, does it align with that type of symbolism and frequency? And if it doesn't, then that means First and foremost, just as we spoke about, I believe on day two, begin to clear the canvas. Get rid of any unnecessary clutter, remove anything that's really not going to associate or participate in enhancing that energy, and just start it at what we'll call a neutral platform. Once you have released everything that's really not going to be supporting that space, then you can begin to reintroduce elements that will be of a supportive nature. So some really easy takeaways and what you can then reintroduce. One can be candles. It can either be real candles or it can be artificial. The reason for that is the main element that's located in partnership is earth, but the supporting element is fire. So by introducing anything in a elemental state that generates warmth, physically, or even gives a certain type of glow, even like a lamp, or it can be overhead lighting, that's going to contribute to enhancing this area. So it can be very simple. Uh, the next thing you can include could be crystals. The go-to crystals all the time will be rose quartz. And in particular, we're looking for two. And going back to the candle recommendation, instead of one, you're going for two. The reason for that is because we always want to represent things in the partnership area from a feng shui perspective in pairs, because that relates to the concept of unity, working together. Um, now I understand in interior design, most people will say, well, structuring things in symmetry and, and always in pairs is not very interesting. And that's not to say you can't mix it up, but whenever you are placing things that have twos, just understand, at least from a feng shui perspective, that is the main intention. And yes, you can feel free to mix things up and look around. Like for example, in my area, I happen to have more of the ideal layout where we actually have the bedroom located in partnership. So maybe there can even be artwork that's placed along the wall. And again, the theme and the subject matter can relate to partnership and how that subject matter is portrayed will depend on your personal definition and emotional connection to what the word partnership represents to you. So if you're in a partnership, you can easily uh, display images of you and your partner framed. They can be big, they can be small, that becomes a personal preference. Um, if you're not in a relationship, then that's where you turn to the symbolism of anything in pairs, including as you make your bed, you can simply set up two pairs of pillows. Um, so this doesn't have to be overly thought out. And again, the approach that we're using is from the Western style of feng shui. So these are some simple quick tips to begin to readjust the area of partnership within your home. Again, look at the function, look at what needs to first be cleared out, and then you can reintroduce some of the quick tips that were offered. And then the last one has to do with texture and color. So referring to texture, this is mainly a yin environment. So we're encouraging a balance of female energy. And the way you can introduce that through texture is using soft texture, blankets, comforters, um, it can even be soft tapestry artwork, an area rug. Again, I'm just giving you very general overviews, but take a look at the type of material that's being utilized in that space 
and understand texture to the touch can also convey yin female earth element energy and then in terms of color the most typical go-to color is usually pink and that's going to be the immediate go-to of how we can represent romance but it doesn't have to be um, a stark pink like a barbie doll pink or anything you know use your own uh discernment on that accent color that's gonna best suit that area and what's already happening within the space. But again, the intention of why you're including pink is what's gonna carry that energy and that resonance. So I hope this is helpful. Uh, wishing you all a good day and a good evening, and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.